Prince Aquino the third. Thank you. Secretary Gregory Domingo and the members of the cabinet present, Ambassador Carlos Salinas and Mrs. Isabelita Salinas, friends from the business sector, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The ties between our countries run deep. At one point in time, the Philippines was the principal trading hub for Spain in Asia, as demonstrated by the galleon trade that lasted not too long, just three centuries. One can even see our country's historic connections in our food, from paella to churros which hopefully we will have tonight. <laughs> Most important of all, however, one can find in it the genuine feeling of kinship, fi kinship Filipinos feel for Spaniards and a kinship Spaniards have likewise demonstrated towards Filipinos. For instance, we will never forget and will always be grateful for the banner saying, you are not alone, Philippines, unfurled in a football match and for the donations to Typhoon Haiyan, victims given by Spaniards from all walks of life, from industrialists to humble families in provincial towns. All these mean that as you explore opportunities in my country, you will find that you are not entering unknown territory. Instead, you have the opportunity to write a prosperous new chapter in a land where you have had a continuous and durable presence since 1521. As the Spanish economy shows encouraging signs of recovery, I believe that this is an opportune time to invite you to invest in a resurgent economy. From 2010 to 2013, we registered an average growth of 6.3% of GDP. Compare this to our growth from 2006 to 2009, which, which was at 4.3% and primarily consumer driven. You would also have heard of our other economic achievements. Over the course of our administration, we have received something in the neighborhood of 20 positive credit ratings actions from agencies around the world. The most prominent of which came last year when we were granted investment grade by Moody's, Standard & Poor's, and Fitch. The World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report cited the Philippines as the most improved country since 2010, and various publications and groups heralded us as our region's bright spot and as Asia's rising tiger, among many other positive remarks. All of this, we have to stress, is only the beginning. Our focus has always been on inclusive growth, which necessarily means prioritizing our greatest resource, the Filipino people. Initially, with our limited resources, we focused on helping the poorest to the poor, the poorest quintile of our population. We have succeeded in lifting around 2.5 million of our citizens above the poverty line, but we will not stop there. The goal now has shifted to ensuring that those we term the near poor will be pushed farther away from the poverty line so that a sudden event such as a single medical catastrophe or a natural disaster will not bring them back to below the to living below the poverty line. Indeed, we are working to go from strength to strength. Moving forward, we continue to invest in infrastructure, to develop key industries like manufacturing, and to expand the coverage of social services, healthcare, and education, so that more Filipinos can take part and contribute to this economic resurgence. We are also cutting red tape to make it easier for businesses to set up shop at our home. And we are pushing for needed reform to liberalize industries that will invite greater enterprise, such as those in banking. We are determined to prove to the world an important truth about our country. In the Philippines, you will find a place where the government is focused on investing on its greatest resource, its people. A nation where entrepreneurs are viewed as partners and where everyone works to prove that. For tourists and business alike, es más divertido en las Filipinas. <laughs> The potential that has brought us together tonight is no accident. It was created because the Filipino people committed to reform and are fighting to make this change permanent. There is a movie I watch from time to time. It is the story of a gifted individual totally committed to doing what is right. I am referring to the story of El Cid, starring Charlton Heston. It serves as an inspiration to pursue the hard route in order to do what is right, instead of taking the easy path that leads us to do wrong. Tonight, I am here to bear witness to the Filipinos people, Filipino people's success in proving good governance is good economics. Our respective nations have faced tough economic times. Tonight, we have a shared opportunity to turn past adversity into prosperity for both our peoples. Let us embrace that opportunity to add new value to the ties between the Philippines and Spain. Thank you and good evening. 